So, this is some kind of drawing game. I pressed easy and it said cat. So I drew a cat. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Wait. Hold on. Uh, first person, third person. There we go. Okay. So I guess, uh, if there were maybe people here, they would be able to say, yeah, that's a cat. I don't know what this game is. I don't know. But what I've decided to make a new game out of it, which is I press each of them. And I make a triple problem to draw. Flying saucer sponge darkness. Okay. 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 Let's see what we can do about that. Flying saucer, sponge darkness. Okay. So, so yellow. So it'll be a flying saucer. It's kind of terrible. I can I can fix it up. Okay. Um. So a flying saucer, and it's made out of sponge. So sponges have like. Sponges are porous, right? So we'll put porousness into the flying saucer. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. That's what's happening now. Okay, so we put some uh, porosity into the flying saucer. Okay, that's good. And um, it is constructed of darkness or maybe there's just darkness in the area how about that is that good there's darkness all around in the area so now now we've got a flying saucer sponge made of darkness. I guess, like, the game would be, so if there were some other people here, like, I would say, okay, look away from the screen for a while, and then click the buttons, and then it would come up with the thing that I need to draw, and then I draw it, and then the people have to guess what it was that I was supposed to be representing. So they would look at that, and quite obviously they would uh, be able to realize the obvious truth that this is a flying saucer sponge darkness so i mean i'd be i'd be winning already 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 i'm winning okay so what else have we got baby sometimes it takes a second for these to work baby flying saucer again Jump rope. Baby flying saucer jump rope. Hmm. Okay. So. No, 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 no. This is alright. I could. This is fine. So, we make a flying saucer. That's quite clearly a flying saucer. And what we do is we put, um. So we do this. So here we go, and um, that's supposed to be a nappy of some kind. It's blue, it's a blue nappy. I don't have white, so I can't really. Um, so the baby has abnormally large feet. Okay, so, and then... Got some drawing here. That's happening. That's happening. And uh, babies only have one hair. So it's one, one hair. Okay. So, so now what we do is we grab this. So we've got, so that's some, some handles there, you see. We've got some handles. And uh, it's, a jump rope. So quite obvious, like, I mean, 
I, I, I refuse to believe that there is anybody in the world that could look at that and not say, oh, that's, uh, that's, um, flying saucer baby jump rope. I mean, I mean, that's quite, quite, I mean, clearly, clearly. I mean, my artistic powers are just, 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 just too powerful. I'm just, look, I, I'm, I'm just, it's over 9,000. My power level is over 9,000. Okay, so we've got Igloo Workaholic <laughs> Dance. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. All right, so the way I see an igloo is is like this. So there's like a, a door part and then the igloo part. I mean, that's an igloo, come on. You, like, oh, quite clearly. And I mean, once I put in the snow bricks... I mean, look at this. That's an igloo right there. Come on. <laughs> tell me that's not an igloo, and I will tell you that you are uh, just, you've, you, oh, I'll, 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 I'll tell you something. I don't know what, what it's going to be exactly that I'll tell you, but uh, you'll be told. You will be told the thing. And um, so what we've got here, so he's a man, and, uh, well, so far it's a circle, but it will be a man. So there's a hat there, and his, his shirt's going to be green. Shirt's going to be green. Okay. So there's that happening. Oh, I forgot the neck. So he's a necklace man uh, with a green shirt. Uh... And I would we'll just go right ahead and color it in perfectly, in fact. So, I mean, the color, I mean, this coloring in work. I mean, whoa. Shirts look like that, right? I mean, come on. Bodies maybe not 100% look like that, but that's, you know, that's the details. That's just, just, you know. Just because it doesn't 100% totally and absolutely look like human anatomy doesn't mean that... Look, no, look. This this is perfect. This is a perfect representation of the homo sapien body form. Uh, quite clearly. So here he is. What was that? Ah, uh, there's a woodman. It's Mad Monkey. Hello, Mad Monkey. Hello, Mad Monkey. What's up? Cool, cool. Ah, okay. I'm playing a game where I click all three of these buttons and then draw all of them in one picture. I'm not entirely so certain why I'm doing this thing, but I am doing it. I've got two of the three things. You t oh, I mean... Oh. But my artistic abilities are without question here. I mean, come on, this is quite clearly the thing that it, that it is intended to be. No, wait, you wait till I add the details. I mean, this is, this is, it'll be quite clear exactly what, what this is. So, here we go. We got this, this part here. And one of these here, there we go. There, that's it. Oh, yeah, okay. Close enough. I forgot what the third thing I was supposed to be representing was. 
Um, hmm. Just put a face in there. You see, it's 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 that. See? Yeah, but I, that's pretty much pretty much it. It was igloo workaholic and i forget what the third one was but i didn't draw that anyway stuck oh VR mode, raise your hand. Ah, so if I was in VR mode, I wouldn't need to press a key. I would just have to put my hands up and shake them and it would do that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, wood, Woodman has disappeared. So I'm going to stand in front of this. Put myself back on mute again. Uh, go to selfie mode. There we go. There. There's that. So. Alright. That's the end of this. This is a, uh, virtual reality, like, experience software that seems to be mainly designed around, um, like, meetings and stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do with meetings and things like that. Um, yeah, it's really cool. And the thing is, it's native to Linux, including the VR stuff. I don't have like VR headset stuff to, uh, to do, but, um, and if I wasn't on mute, my character would be, uh, moving its mouth and doing, moving its hands. I'll get some other footage and put it just after this to, to show that. Right. So. Here's a demonstration of the the way that Vercadia does its uh, mouth. You know, when I'm talking, it moves it moves the hands around and does the mouth. Like I don't have any VR headset or anything like that or any tracking. This just is based on if it's uh, receiving any sound input or not. Like uh, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah. I think I'm just going to splice these two videos uh, together and uh, chuck it up on the channel. Like, I'll, I'll probably do something a bit more in-depth in the future, but I just wanted to get something out there quickly uh, to show people that this thing exists and, hey, come check it out. Um, yeah, like, these virtual spaces are super weird. Like, I've only... I've only spent two different days in here and already the, the kind of conversations that I've had with people have been just so <laughs> substantial. Like, it's been really cool. Like, there's something about there's something about spaces like this, like what they're calling metaverses, I guess, that just lends itself so strongly towards facilitating the most intense and interesting discussions with such, like, interesting people and more so than just having regular video chats or or audio or text or like this level of i guess immersion I mean, although i'm not sure if it's the immersive nature of it that is the thing 
that's lending itself to facilitate this kinds of conversations so dramatically but there's something there's something in this kind of stuff i mean it's it's the reason why vr chat became so popular and uh yeah look if you're looking for a free and open source free libra and open source software version of a vr chat type experience that has a native Linux binary, not just a Windows and Mac one. Oh, and an Android binary, apparently. Although I haven't checked that out yet. If you're looking for that kind of thing, this is it, bro. Like, <laughs> come check this out. It's mega rad and fully, like, just come check it out, though, eh? We need some more people here. Um... There's plenty of creators and developers that, that uh, come into here, but we need some more just regular fellas to, <laughs> to come in and uh, round out the experience. So uh, it needs more promotion, and that's what I wanna, want to try to bring to uh, the table here as much as I can. Um, yeah, and that's going to be it for now. I'll think of something a bit more structured in the future to do to promote the place but uh, for now this is going to be it oh wait hold on I'll, ch I'll show you some of these emotes check out some of these emotes so there's crying so i'm crying there that's sad here's the dance i'm just getting a funky old groove on going on there do some cheering whoop 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 i'm, I'm like uh, doing some mega cheering going on there there's a small little wave. Just beep beep. Boop boop. There's fall. I'll fall over there. There we go. And then instantly I can point at stuff. There we go. I'm pointing. Do a quick clap. I do a very long drawn out sit animation and sit down. Oop. Hold on. I'll... <laughs> the sitting animation takes so long and it's so like appropriate. That's how long it would take a person to sit. And I can even talk from down here. Uh, love animation. And this is my favorite one. <laughs> I love the finger wiggles at the end. Hold on. See? There we go. And then... I've also got this... So there's this thing, the appreciation dodecahedron. So what I'll do, so I'll hold down Z. Oh, it's kind of bugged. <laughs> the clapping's usually a bit more clappy. So there's the uh, appreciation dodecahedron. <laughs> So that's something. Yeah, and there's like a bunch of avatars. The default avatars are fairly basic, but the, you can go to a, a kiosk and get uh, one of the Ready Player Me uh, avatars, which are a bit more cartoony than the default ones, but they are, I don't know. I like them a bit more. They're a bit more cute. Yeah, so when you, when, you, when you start off, you'll be just over here somewhere when you go to the... There'll be a portal and then you'll come here. Yeah, and then you go through that system. There's a, a whelp desk with a dog that goes woof. So that's something. When you get close to it, it goes woof. I actually thought that was a kangaroo when I first saw it, but apparently it's a it's a dog because it woofs. The Vercadia seems um, to be a little bit more geared towards professional applications than than just a general regular non-business user thing like you've got all these 
rooms where people can have like miniature conferences. Like when you come in here, anything that's said stays in the room as far as I, as far as I know. Or you might need to do the open close room thing. I'm not a hundred percent sure. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's sit down here and switch back to self. Yeah, this is uh, Vicadia. It's super cool. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not so many people here right now, but that's probably because it's uh, very early in the morning in America, and I think most people, most people who come here are from America. Although I was just talking to a, a dude from relatively nearby my area uh, in here, and that was that was something. It was super, super cool conversation. <laughs> like, oh, we went so in-depth into so many weird, like, like, talking about IT and philosophy and sociology and psychology and just anything with an ology on the end. We were getting real, real deep into it. About halfway through, I, was, I thought to myself, dang, I probably should have been recording this. This was a super hectic conversation <laughs> and I would have, it would have been good to have other people to hear it but then at the same time i would have been too nervous to say oh hey dude do you mind if i record this but next time i'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> make sure to get the consent beforehand and afterwards in case they they decided to change their mind about it <laughs> maybe the discussion would have went all a bit too hectic and anyway that's gonna be the end of this video because i'm gonna head to sleep and uh I've been using the uh crutch word too often. That's uh, I've got to get out of the habit of doing that. I think when I'm more tired, I say um or uh a bit more often and it's not super conducive to efficient communication. <laughs> but anyway, my head is in such a space right now after having a very intense conversation and uh, I'm doing it again. I'm uh... <laughs> anyway, see you later. <laughs> come check out Vicadia. Like, legit, come check it out. It's really rad. Uh, the artists and, and programmers and everybody who's worked on this place has done a whole bunch of super awesome stuff. And uh, check it out. It's really cool. I really like the uh, the mouth moving when I talk thing. It's 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 really cool. I like it so much. Ah, uh, dear. All right. I hope that you have a good day and goodbye.